M0 FXB Radtail RT900. Let's upload the latest firmware. Mine is the Bluetooth model. So here where it says RT900, we've got firmware. If you scroll down, you've got the non-Bluetooth model. We're going to go straight to this one here, 56-A3. It says 512 channels. So we're going to click that and we're going to send this zip to that just at the top here to a folder on my computer so we can find it. Okay, so then we'll go to that folder that's just here, double click it. We've connected a Bluetooth, sorry, a cable to our, a Bofun cable to our radio. Turn it off and then hold down the, the two round buttons, not the PTT. Two round buttons on the side, turn on the radio while it's off. And it says updating like so. Then double click the software. And I'm just going to open that up a bit. So we want to click the, the top one, Radtail ANC bootloader. And then we'll do the bottom one as well, but let's do the top one. And here, once you've plugged in your cable, you'll get a, a port number. So right click on the window square, device manager. You get your port window show. Double click where it says ports. And we are COM24, just there. So on the software, we're going to select drop down arrow 24. And we, we put in 115200 board rate because that's what my COM is. And software, there it is there. When you, I've selected it before. So when you click this, go to the folder where you've put your bin file, let's call it. It says here ANC actually. Double click. And then when the radio is in update mode, you can go update and it does its thing. And, and even if this feels like it's taken forever, do not touch anything until it says it's completed. You can see it says 1% there. So be patient with this. And, to, and then we're going to do exactly the same process with the other program that we've got in that folder. Also, at the end of this process, the radio will just turn back on. Remember, you can't really brick your radio. Just if you get it wrong or if anything goes a bit strange, oh, it says it's done it now. Um, just do it again. Don't go, oh, I've bricked my radio. That's quite an old fashioned term these days. They make these so you can't brick them because they don't want all the back, you know, all the, all the messages. So that's gone well. The radio's working well. So we're going to close it. I want to look at the other one and, and just going to double click this one. I don't actually know if this one which is called Radtel RT900 Bluetooth, needs to be in firmware mode, so let's just try it. So we're going to select. Oh, it's selecting the same one. Mm, I don't know if I want to risk it, to be honest. Uh, our Bluetooth version. Mm -mm -mm. We've still got the COM port there. We click update. Nothing's going to happen, is it? Because it's not in. So you've got here. Let me just have a better look at this program. In the end I just decided to do it. Double click. Okay. I'm going to select. It only gives me one option anyway, which is that one. I'm going to select the COM. It's in COM mode like it was before. Uh, 115200. Yeah, I'm just going to click the update and if it does it, it does it. If it don't, it don't. There you are. It seems to be doing something. Give it a go. I mean, it's quite a cool radio, isn't it? VHF, UHF, Airband. It does 18 megahertz, does CB bands, AM, FM. Um, so, uh, yeah, have a little play. And it's completed there. So, yeah, I'll do some more videos using the radio, but this is a firmware one. Bye for now.